Oh, couldn't help himself. Two and one. Again, this is the tendency for most hitters. When you get in the postseason, especially when you're the home team, you just know one swing and you're dancing. You know, he badly wants to be the hero. He's ahead three and one. We saw him in Houston in game six, clearly wanting to be the hero after the yeah. drama of game five. And he struck out four times in a row to start that game, only to take a deep breath, settle down, and hit a grand slam in the ninth. Adolis Garcia sends him the other way. That sends Carroll back. He's at the wall. And the legend grows. Adolis Garcia wins game one. to the day that game six became synonymous with heartbreak game one becomes synonymous with Adolis Garcia the Rangers tied in the ninth on a Seager home run they win it in the 11th and of course it was Adolis run swing and they're dancing around but it was all about that hit by pitch the time before you wondered if that was going to have anything to do with his swinging the bat it wasn't and he went to right field. That's how strong he is. He took a low sinking pitch and hit it like a left handed pull hitter. And what a moment and what a comeback win for the Rangers. This is what I was talking about. This looked like it could have been very bad when he was hit by this 0 2 pitch earlier before this game. Right there. And that one, you thought, okay. Maybe he's in a little bit of trouble. Well, not only was he not in trouble, he was completely on plane when he was swinging to hit this ball. What a moment. What a player. Michael Young, the Rangers legend, who's now a special assistant with the team, said there's nobody having more fun than Adolis Garcia. He said he's enjoying every pitch, and this time of year, the guys that do that are the ones that thrive. Yeah, and I'm telling you, from the very first at bat, he looked locked in. He took one huge swing in that at bat and almost got back to the basics of short and to the ball, and he let that ball travel, and he hit it exactly where it was pitched. Incredible stuff. He didn't think it was possible for him to do something more than he did in the championship series when he was a wrecking ball to the Astros postseason and World Series hopes. He reaches five times in game one. He ends game one with an opposite field walk off home run in the 11th inning. Down to Ken Rosenthal. Thanks, Joe.